Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and you might be wondering, I can't believe wondering why I'm doing Let's Plays. I want to do something a little more well-known and also still cute because I love anything that's story-driven. That's kind of the kind of games I want to do on here because I love that. Um, and Doki Doki Literature Club is huge and very popular, so I was like, you know what? It looks cute. I'm gonna go for it. Um, it looks like it might be kind of like a dating-ish game. Um, I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So here I am playing Doki Doki Literature Club. First episode or I guess level? I don't know, we'll see. So it says, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. What? I thought it looked adorable. I'm a little confused about that, but individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game? Uh, I do have anxiety. No, that's that can't be true. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age. Well, yes. I agree. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh, I like the song so far. It said again, the game's not suitable for children that are really easily disturbed. What's gonna happen? Okay, new game. Enter your name. Should I just be me? Am I gonna be a boy or a girl? Do you choose? Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just use my own name. Kelly. Okay. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. That's rude. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh my god. I am judgmental. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yo, why am I so mean? <laughs> We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Girl, rude. Why am I so rude? I don't hate you, Sayori, I think it was. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha, ha, what is she saying, ha? Huh? Oh, she's like upset. I overslept again. I'm totally gonna voice act, by the way, guys. But I caught you this time. Maybe. I guess I'm like a really cool, I'm too cool for you, apparently. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I'm so mean. Why am I so douchey? Hee! you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Anime face. That's mean, Kelly. Thank you, I agree, I am mean. I, it, but I guess I can't choose my personality. I guess I'm just kind of a jerk. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh my God, who do I think I am? Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Okay. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kelly, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, this is like the beginning of every anime. What club are you going to join? That's like always the big deal. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I, for some reason, have such a superiority complex and I am just like way too good for clubs. <sighs> This is like me when I was like in college, like pretending to be cool and better than everyone else, but I was secretly a dork and I was just like doing it to fit in. This is the old Kelly talking right now. Oop. Oh no, what'd I do? Uh-oh. Eh, eh. Okay. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Oh my god! Why is the main character so unlikable? Can I at least choose my person personality and choose not to be a douche? Like, it would have been nice to have that option. Jeez. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Well, okay, so... Me and my self-lead character have something in common. I do like games and anime, so. Uh-huh. I was 
talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Good point. Good point, Sayori. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Aw, she's cute. And I know you're happy now that I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? A neat? Is this slang for like, am I too, do I not understand the slang? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Aw. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? She actually seems really nice and like she really cares about you. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Psh, clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Good choice, fake me. Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. <laughs> well, my character is spacing out now. Now she sounds even more like me. <laughs> I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Damn, Kelly. Get your stuff together, girl. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. She seems to know my uh, personality traits. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. If you guys hate the voice, let me know. I'll change it up. I, she just seems like that kind of a voice to me. I don't, that's just how I pegged her, so. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Okay, this girl, like, really cares about me. Digging the bow, though, we're kind of twinning right now, and I like that. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ugh, why am I so mean? Am I Regina George? Eee, meanie anime finger sad face thing that they always do. So cute. She's so cute. Why am I so mean to her when she's adorable? Sayori is vice president of the literature club. That's cool. So she's smart too. Why do I treat this girl like crap? Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature because I'm assuming how smart she is because I'm a jerk. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Psh, bye, Sayori. Do I stop being a jerk at some point? <gasps> Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, <gasps> Sayori! You know I'm a jerk. You really thought I'd say yes to that? And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. Okay, if there was cupcakes there. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Did you really sell your soul, fake me? Gee, it's a little dramatic. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. God, I sound like a bratty, like, preteen. Like, I don't even know. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Ooh, she's beautiful. Sayori always says nice things about you. 
Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> this girl looks funky. Ah, oh, Kelly, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. She's like the perfectly nice protagonist. I'm just like, uh, being invited into a club with a bunch of cute girls, why am I upset? All the words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I, I just said that. <laughs> am I psychic? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Oh, finally, someone's giving me what I deserve. Uh, Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Uh, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have had a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Monica? That's right. Oh, okay. It's great to see you again, Kelly. Monica smiles sweetly. Aw, I like her hair. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. Oh, so I'm not a total jerk. Okay. Giving someone else credit. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Yay, you too, Monica. Ooh, someone has a crush. Come sit down, Kelly. We made room for you at the table so you could sit next to me or Monica. Okay, guys. So, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <gasps> Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats! Oh, how cute! I'm so glad I'm playing this. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Oh, so cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuke. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Aww. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Are you really, like, quizzically, like, examining the cupcake right now? Natsuke is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. I mean, that's, like, kind of implied, right? This is really good. Thank you, Natsuke. <gasps> Genuinely nice? Wow! Proud of me. Wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Oh, did she make them for me? That's so nice. Ah, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. You dummy. Okay, so she's obviously like the anime girl who pretends... She doesn't like you, but she really does. And you have to, like, have... She's going to warm up to you over time. Yeah. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuke's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. All right, guys. So I don't want the videos to be too long, so I'm going to save it right here. And continue next time. That was so fun. That was funner than I thought. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you want to see me continue this game. I really like it so far, and I'm excited to see what happens. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if I should continue. See you next time.